Hey guys, so I printed out the pentagonal hexacontahedron on the build plate here. Popped right off. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of mess up on the print itself, but I'm going to do a little bit of post-processing real fast and then we'll get to bouncing it and see how it does. So I've gone through post-processing, uh, tried to smooth out the uh, rough areas as best as possible, but some of it just kind of failed uh, in certain spots. So we may not get a true reaction, but so what we have here is a 50 millimeter uh, ball and it is 100% infill TPU and we're going to give it a bounce here and see what it does uh, and we'll go from there depending on how it bounces. All right, so let's go ahead and try that bounce. Uh, I'm gonna try it on tile here because my table will be pretty loud and hopefully the tile is solid enough to give it a good bounce. So let's see what happens. Record on the slow motion. Okay, I'll drop it angular side down. And... and All right, so conclusion for the uh, pentagonal hexacontahedron uh, is that while well, we got some good bounces from it and you noticed how it'll jump around depending on which angle it hits, um, I feel that the 100% infill really takes away from the uh, springiness of the TPU. You know, I can't really get any squeeze to it, but, you know, you can feel the texture of the rubberiness, but... And, you know, the whole plus is that TPU can really bend and squeeze. That's what this mask is made of. And as you can see, unlike a lot of 3D printed objects, you know, this acts a lot more like rubber uh, in that sense. So I think I'm going to try another print with a 25% infill. Uh, it takes about six hours to print, and I'll give it another try tomorrow, and I'll let you know how it goes.